Hi everyone, I have my design team project for craft supplies for you and I'd like to share it with you but first I want to share with you what I used on my project and for the paints I use these metallic paints um, this one's green and this one's kind of like a pink color and then I use some of this dimensional fabric craft paint um, this is a light pink and it's an iridescent and I used it just like you would use an acrylic paint and then some of the things that I use from Julie's shop, I use these beautiful flowers that I got in my design team project. I mean, <laughs> my design team package. Um, these, I love these. And I use these. So yes, I'm doing a little steampunk, finally. It's been a while, but... Uh, and then I use some of her little black roses. And I use these acrylic um, pieces. They're the ones that have the holes in them. You can put them on like uh, stick pins. So I used a couple of those. I used the black butterflies that I got in my package. I used a few of those. And I used one of these. These we got a long, long time ago, like when I first became a designer for Julie. And I thought they were kind of different. I don't know, every time I look at them, I think of the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. But I'm not sure why, but they're these. They're like a bead cap. I used one of those. I used a, I used a bunch of charms, actually. Um, let me just show you the lace first, and then I'll show you all the charms that I used on my project. So I used this, but I dyed it black. So it will be black on my project, but that's the, the trim that I used. And then for the charms that I used, I used one of these lanterns. I think they're so cute. I used one of these clocks. And sorry if my hands look dirty, they're not. I've been bleaching them, trying to get the black um, dye off of them. And I used some of these. These are bead caps or flowers, whichever way you use them. I used one of these keys. I love these keys, they're so cute. Let me turn it around. So I used one of those. And I used a couple of these keys. And I used the owl here. Okay, so I have to take my camera down. Um, and film this holding my camera or I'll put it up on the tripod so it's not so shaky. Um, this project is, it's, um, it's a hot air balloon but I made it out of a big huge light bulb. So I'm super excited about this one. Um, I think it came out really, really, really pretty. So if you hang on, I will be right back with um, my camera turned around. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this by hand because the tripod won't go up high enough for this. So this is basically what I have. And I'm trying to get it so it it's kind of hanging from a hook from the ceiling. So it's it keeps turning, but this is the front part. I'm sorry if it's jiggly. I'm just trying to get it so it's so you can kind of see it. So this is the light bulb that I was talking about. And here, let me turn it this way. So let's start at the top, and I'll try to point out everything that I did. Um, this is one of Julie's um, butterflies. But I, I used a lot of chain. And in here is one of those bead caps that I was talking about that remind me of the Tin Man. And then I have a faucet, an outdoor faucet, um, on top here with a bead on top of that. And then for the light bulb, I just took those paints and I um, kind of dab the paints. I'll tw turn it around, you know, so just to give it a little bit of color. 
And then here's the trim. I went all the way around with the trim and I used some filigrees and some metal gears and some cabochons. And here is where I have one of the keys and one of those metal flowers. And then here's where I put um, the black, those black acrylic flowers and then I painted, I used the pink paint to paint the centers. So it just kind of like um, all blend together. And then down here I used her black. I put some gears behind each of these black flowers but you can barely see them. But those are her white flowers. I mean her white. Oh my goodness. Um, those are her the black roses that I showed you. And then there's the owl. And of course more chain. And here's a couple more of her flowers and I actually painted the stamen in the middle pink. And there's those keys. And there's the lantern there. And then for the cup, this is a tuna can. I believe it's a tuna can. It's either a tuna can or a cat food can. So I just painted that up. I gessoed it and painted it up. And um, the box the bottom even has texture to it because I took the um, the blow, you know, your the um, yeah the heat tool, and I bubbled it up. But the paper that I used, I forgot to show you. I used the Prima Almanac paper. It's this one. That's so old. I've had it in my stash forever. And then I just used one page and it's that hot air balloon and I don't even know if I put anything from that page on here but um, I know I fussy cutted some stuff out of it but I'm not sure if I used it but I thought I'd show that anyways. Okay, sorry that I'm a little shaky. So in here I did, I there's like a, a black fur boa on the bottom of this and I have, this is a acrylic frame that I did. And there's some, um, this piece back here is one, is supposed to be one piece, the piece with the umbrella. And I cut it apart, of course, because <laughs> I like to cut things apart, take things apart. And those are two of the gears off of that. And then I have some metal clock hands and then a little head that I, um, I resined, I made with resin. And then there's a, uh, it's not a dress form. It'll come to me. I, a corset that I just inked up. And of course, fussy cut it a piece of the paper. And there's a butterfly back there. These flowers, I also took those apart. And those stamens are from the bushel of those. So, and then there's a card from the paper collection. And then that vine that's going up is from the umbrella piece but I cut it apart and painted it and put it there. There's some flowers from Julie's shop. Those are the pink ones. And then I have a wood piece there that I use some um, it's like it's like glitter but it's it's not it's Martha Stewart. I can't I can't think of what it is now but it's like flakes. So I put that on there with some of the glossy accents. There's the clock. I fussy cutted some pieces from the paper here. That has gear, metal gears behind it with those flowers from her shop. I'm trying to turn this around. There's one of those Tim Holtz skulls there. Um, back here is just the butterfly and some papers fussy cutted. Or fussy cut. So yeah, I think I went all the way around it, and um, so that's my. Let me turn it this way because it's just going to twirl there. And there's more butterflies up there on the top. I put two up there, one down below. But I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to hang it from my ceiling in here. I think it's so awesome. 